Hello, and today we are going to be reviewing the Alchemy 1977 England Tarot. And um, bum bum bum. I actually don't know a lot about the history of this deck, but I it could have been done in 1977. This is done by Fourier, made in Spain. This box looks in remarkable condition, um, especially considering this was one of the first decks I bought. I never really used it. Um, typical metal kid and whatnot. Sort of goth. It wasn't really that gothy, but I bought it because the artwork looked awesome. Um, there we go. We're going to open it up. It is, do we have who's by? It was copyright 2011. So actually, no, this wasn't one of the first decks, which is a bit weird. So I could have sworn it was. Um, made in Spain. But I would have gotten this around 2011 because this was a long time ago. Um, knowing me, this is probably still in order. Um, let's see. Ah, there we go. The Alchemy 1977 England Tarot Instructions for Alchemy. There is a little white booklet from Fourier. It's another booklet in there, I think. Hold on a second. Let's pop them down. Ah, no, it just folds out. It's a double sided booklet. I don't really look at these booklets a lot unless it's, um, unless it's a different out there deck um alchemy the first thing that's slightly disappointing is you don't have all these lovely brown colors on the back of the deck there is all these grays and whatnot which isn't that big a deal now here we go if you're into your sort of and rice type stuff this is quite cool cardstock it's thinish, it's not that great, it's not that bad. Um, it's got all different languages on it, which isn't great, but at least it's not done up in the corners. Um, so, get these a bit closer. This is the King of Wands. Fool. Oh, I've obviously shuffled these a bit. Not really, actually, because there's the Magician straight after it. The High Priestess. Death. Although, the way the writing is there, you can be mistaken for dead. To do the Devil. Some really nice artwork in it. I mean, these are standalone pieces if you printed them out. Um, the Empress. The Emperor. That just reminds me of a um, Iron Maiden CD or something. The Hierophants, the Lovers, the Chariot, yeah, hold these up a bit more, Justice, do, do, do. forget the, hold on, move, let's see if we this folks. Or right, tonight we drink in Val in Valhalla. Do the hermit. Wheel of Fortune. If you love your dragons and stuff, this is an awesome old deck. The hanged man. Temperance. The tower. Star. I mean, there's a, there is a fair bit of um, symbology in a lot of it. You need to learn this sort of symbology if you don't already know what it is. Do 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 judgment. The world yin yang. Do 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 do, do. now. Here's where it gets a bit me. Obviously the Ace of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. And then we're into what is essentially um, non-illustrated. Which I think is one of the reasons it's turned me off deck. I'm not into non-illustrated decks. The Knave of Pentacles. 
Knight of Pentacles, Queen, King, Eight of Cups, Two of Cups, and then straight into this. Doodly -doo -doo. Yeah, there we go. Nave, quite a lovely Nave. You see, it's so much went into the artwork for all the other cards, and then it's like, meh, we'll just, we'll just throw the miners in. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I like that one. So why yeah, that's chalices, not cups. Do -do -do. Nice. Ace of swords, two of swords. Do -do -do. No, two, sorry, three of swords. There's two of swords. There we go. Knave of Swords. Knight of Swords. Queen of Swords. King of Swords. Ah, uh -huh. Ace of Roses. Two. Makes a little bit more detail on some of these. And then back to this. Until we hit, bum bum bum, the knave, which is quite cool. The knight of wands, the queen of wands, and bum bum bum, another cover card. Oh, now I remember what I was doing. Yeah, this was a time when I used to put um, a few two blank cards, I used to put one in the front, one in the back to protect the deck. Aha. Uh -huh. So that's it. It's the Alchemy trademarked 1977 England Tarot. There's a lot of really, really cool cards, and I just don't like the way most of the miners aren't illustrated. Um, it was disappointing that this goes grey on the cards, but, you know, whatever. It's a pretty common deck. Um, well, it was a pretty common deck by Fourier. Made in Spain. This one's copyrighted 2011. Do, do, do. Alchemy Carta Limited. Do, do. Nothing to say who the artist is on it, but I'm sure it's probably in the white book. I'm sure it's probably a collection of artists. Um, yeah. I actually have two copies of this because I got six, de six decks from Fourier um, via an eBay seller, and it worked. This is going back a few years ago. I got six decks I won in an auction for, I think it was about 30 euros. So it was about a fiver deck, which wasn't bad at all. That guy is now gone off eBay. So, um, click like and subscribe.